Sorry. I said we are not interested in their proposal. <sighs> the meeting is next Thursday, Bill. 60 long terms out of September. Fredericks, are you listening to me? Uh, if there's one thing you should remember about this deal... Not knowing how to listen has cost American business billions of dollars. Well, as one of the world's major corporations, we at Sperry are doing something about it. We've set up extensive listening programs that Sperry employees worldwide can take part in. And when you do business with Sperry Univac or any of our other divisions, you're going to discover that Sperry listens like no one you've ever done business with. 80,000! I said 8,000! No! Sperry, we understand how important it is to listen. Look what's happened to home heating and air conditioning costs. Up and up. Up over 80% in five years. But there's a way you can fight back in your attic. Add another layer of pink Owens Corning fiberglass insulation. Ask your dealer or contractor how much more you need. Fight back against rising fuel costs. Get Owens Corning fiberglass insulation now. It's cheaper than oil. Next Saturday on the CBS Sports Spectacular, look out for the return of the world's strongest men competition. When the big men vie for the title in the barrel lift, bar bend, and more tests of strength. Then it's action-packed international competition at the 1979 Canoe Kayak World Championships from Quebec as challengers take on each other and the wild water, plus the preview of the Pacific Invitational Gymnastic Championship. You'll say, you saw it on CBS Sports. All right, back live at our control room in New York. Let's get you up to date with all the scores right now. Jane, Detroit over Atlanta, 10-3. Many in our audience have been watching that game. Brent, Detroit is playing an absolutely fantastic offense, defensive game, scoring a 15-yard pass. Jeff Comlo to Freddie Scott. Then Atlanta added a 23-yard field goal to Mazzetti. All right, Irv, in that game, controversial moment. Did David Hill have possession when he broke the plane? Well, I thought he did, and so did Roman Gabriel. The rule now, when you go into the end zone with a pass or any kind of a run, all you have to do is carry it into the end zone, break the plane of the goal line, it's a touchdown. You don't have to have possession and run with the ball. All right, but the question, of course, is whether or not he had possession on that. Yeah, we don't know that answer yet. All right, Green <laughs> Bay, 14, Minnesota, 7. Minnesota scored on a four-yard pass, Tommy Kramer to Ahmad Rashad, then Green Bay came back. 20-yard pass, Whitehurst to James Lost Lofton, and a one-yard run, Barty Smith. Now, in the Baltimore-Pittsburgh game, they are tied at the half at 10. Jane, the story here is the injuries for the Steelers. Listen to these Steelers who did not open the game. Lambert, Harris, Kolb, Furness, and Ron Johnson all out. And now Lynn Swan and Jerry Mullins have fallen. They are silent, yet they're tied at 10. Well, the Steelers exploded with a 47-yard pass play from Terry Bradshaw to John Stallworth. Baltimore then came right back on a 36-yard pass, Greg Landry to Roger Carr. The New York Jets, 24, Buffalo, 12. They are not yet at the half. Again, it's 24-12, Jets over the Bills. For the Jets, two touchdowns for Tommy Newton on rushes of 51 yards and one yard. And just before the half, a 37-yard pass, Richard Todd to Wesley Walker. And what could be a very big upset, Cincinnati is leading Houston 24-10. Bengals over Houston now, 24-10. It's been all Cincinnati behind quarterback Jack Thompson, the throw in Samoan, which is, I think, your favorite, Brent. And two touchdowns for Pete Johnson and one for Charles Alexander. At the half, San Diego now is starting to come back against New England, 20-14. New England over San Diego. Again, that game is at the half. New England scored on runs by Sam Cunningham and Don Calhoun, along with two John Smith field goals. San Diego added a touchdown pass, Dan Fouts to John Jefferson, and a one-yard run, Clarence Williams. All right, two other games. Kansas City leading Oakland, 7-0 is the count there. Washington has gone ahead of St. Louis, 14-0. Hardeman has just scored for the Redskins, busted Cardinal defensive coverage. Let us now change subjects and go to horse racing, because the most interested man watching the Woodward Stakes on CBS yesterday was spectacular bids trainer Buddy Delp. We had him hooked up via two-way from his home in Wilmington, Delaware, and he looked on as a firm took command in the stretch. Mr. Brea on the rail leads the way by a length. 
Zarovic is second by a half length now. Coastal on the outside is third, getting closer. Affirmed also moves up on the rail. Those four are tightly bunched at the 516th pole. Three quarters and 111 and four. The speed is on. Along the inside, affirmed on the outside, it's Zarovic. Affirmed does have the lead now by a half length. Zarovic on the outside, but Coastal is gaining ground. Down the stretch now, affirmed has the lead by two and a half. Zarovic moving to the outside, second by a length, and Coastal is third. Mr. Brea in fourth, and Sir Ladd is fifth at the 16th pole. Affirmed, he has the late race by two and a half, and Coastal is now second. Laz Zarovic Barrera third, has affirmed third. ready, and now he wants spectacular bid. The question for Barrera and also Delp is when will these two horses come together? Well, congratulations, Laz, he ran big. Thank you very much, uh, but you know the, uh, we got two great horses. Oh, heck yeah. And, and uh, we we got to meet one day. I know. But well, I, I, <laughs> what but, day is it going to be, fellas? Last, last. Yeah. It's going to be a hell of a race. Huh? <laughs> it's going to be a hell of a race. Yeah. Can, can we can. all come? Oh, everybody better come. Everybody's invited. <laughs> okay. Where, where and when? The OK oh. Corral, I think, Jack. Well, maybe the Gold Cup, huh? How about the Gold Cup? Uh, Sounds good to me. Sound uh, good to you, bud? Yep. And you bet, all of you are invited in two weeks, even if you don't particularly follow horse racing. Don't miss this one. Spectacular bid and a fern. I guarantee it's going to be one of the great ones of all time. As they said, it's going to be a hell of a horse race. And the NFL today will continue on CBS after these messages from your local stations. It's my half, and I'm dumping it. Archie's new partner is Jewish, and you know what that means. You ate my pot! Archie Bunker's Place premieres tonight. This is CBS. An 80-yard punt return for Kansas City. They have now gone ahead of Oakland by a score of 14 to nothing. J.T. Smith scored for the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's check in now on some of the highlights. Let's get you up to date. Detroit, Jane told you they were playing a fierce defensive game. And that rookie quarterback, Jeff Comlo, out of Delaware, got him on the board. Fred Scott in the end zone. It was 7-0 after the extra point. Comlo again. And watch Luther Blue snare this one with time running out in the first half. He has stopped short of the goal line. Now, did David Hill have possession as he broke the plane? You judge for yourself. They ruled it incomplete. Here it is. Comlo back. Takes his time. Hill is in the end zone, no doubt about it. Did he have it? He could have been juggling it, though, from the other side. We might not have had the best of all possible angles. Green Bay and Minnesota. The story there. Bart Starr has never beaten the Vikes in Bloomington, Minnesota. Trying again today, and he may have his best chance yet. Here's Tommy Kramer going to the former giant, Bob Tucker. His tight end, and Tucker gets down to the pack 17-yard line. Here's a touchdown. Kramer to Ahmad Rashad. Four-yard scoring play. But watch David Whitehurst looking for James Lofton. 20-yard touchdown play. Whitehurst to Lofton. Boy, Lofton's dangerous. Whitehurst goes now to Barty Smith. And Barty gets down to the nine-yard line of the Vikes. Then they set up to kick a field goal. Vikes were offside half the distance, and it was Barty up over the top. And that made it 14-7, Green Bay over Minnesota. Irv, what have you got? In St. Louis, the Washington Redskins traveled to uh, meet the Cardinals there, try to pick up their sixth win in seven attempts out there in St. Louis, and wound up with a gift right off the bat. In the first quarter, the score right now is 14-0. This is the second play of the game for the Cardinals. O.J. Anderson is hit, bobbles the ball, and it rolls around in the end zone, and no one can pick it up. It rolls around there for a while. Four or five Redskins have a shot at it. The Cardinals have it. No, they don't. And all of a sudden, Don Hover comes up with it for the Redskins, and they take an early 7-0 lead. Another fumble for the Cardinals stopped to drive. The Redskins came right back in the first quarter. A blitz, broken coverage, and Buddy Hardeman goes all the way. Touchdown, and the Washington Redskins in the first quarter have a commanding 14-0 lead. Irv, we just get an update out of Buffalo. The Bills have struck again. Wild game. Jets now 24, Bills 19. About time for Terry Miller to explode for Buffalo, too. He's been quiet so far this year. And the NFL today will now send you right back to the stadiums and the game you've been enjoying. It's halftime here at Bloomington, Minnesota, with the Green Bay Packers leading Minnesota by a score of 14 to 7. It's 
it's official. Ford's answer to rebates, the largest incentives ever available to its dealers. The biggest clearance offer in Ford history just got bigger. See your Ford dealer and discover how many hundreds of dollars you can save on new trimmer LTDs, Mustang pace car replicas, elegant Thunderbirds, top V8 pickups, vans, Broncos, Rancheros. Compare the total Ford deal with any other. You may well find it's the best value overall. Here's two good friends. Tonight is kind of special. Where's that husband of yours? Okay, watch your back. Coming through. Is that all you carried up? Is that all? This is Lohenbrunn. So what are we celebrating? This is the second year we're sharing this house. I didn't think we'd make it through the second week. When you want the taste of a truly great American beer, tonight, let it be low and brown. Yeah, I shouldn't say this, because you might think I'm serious. But here's the good friends. Low and brown. Little kids like these make you realize we're all family. But when it comes down to solving problems, there's one thing you got to realize. We're all in this together. I'm Ahmad Rashad of the Minnesota Vikings, and this is the Haley Q. Brown Community Center. There are hundreds of United Way agencies like this all across the country. There's a place like it in my hometown, Tacoma, Washington. I know because they help my family. My mom and dad go there just like these senior citizens, to be with friends. I've been there, and I know what places like this do for your spirit. United Way is people, not just giving dollars to fight cancer and other diseases, though God knows that's important, but giving of themselves. That's what makes us a family and the community. The United Way works here in the Twin Cities and it works in your town too. Thanks to you, it works for all of us. The United Way. 